Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I am back after a super long hiatus. I've been super busy at work, but I just had to get in here and make a video on this. Um, it's nighttime, it's 9.45 in the evening. Um, forgive my makeup, it's been on since 6 a.m. with like maybe one powder touch up since then. So I look a little bit of a mess, but I had to get in here so I could share with you all um, my goodies that I got in the mail today, which was the Beauty, Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Palette and the Skin Frost Bundle. I wanted to share um, my first impressions and some swatches with you all, so let's get started. Um, I wanted to start on the Skin Frost. They came in a box like this. No one cares, but the boxes aren't, um, they don't differentiate which one's which. It's all the same exact box, um, but the names of the shades are printed on the back of the actual um, compacts themselves. So let's get into the swatches. This is Peach Goddess. We're going to start off with her. And that's what she looks like in the pan. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it right here on camera. Oh, oh, so beautiful. It's very reminiscent of um, Nars' Orgasm, except it's way more peachier. It doesn't have that more of a pink shade that Orgasm has, and it's far more shimmery and far more metallic. So beautiful. I actually popped a little bit on my Cupid's bow and on top of my lips right before I filmed, just to just just a little whisper of it to um, put some life back into my matte lips. Um, next one is King Tut, and guys, these are huge. This is um, 15 grams, and I think a matte a Mac uh, mineralized skin finish is like. I want to say it's 10 grams, so it's like one and a half of those for, for less. So um, these are $29 a piece. There's King Tut. Let's swatch her. Guys, King Tut is amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Now, my lighting is very, very poor obviously, but how shimmery these are and how metallic they are, I mean, they kind of wash out in my poor lighting. So just imagine if I had like super, like a ring light or something, I mean, it would, be, it would blind you. These are the shimmeriest, most metallic um, highlighters I have used to date, and I have a highlight horde. Okay, so mint condition. I'm actually really excited to use this one um, as an eyeshadow, as a highlight, just like as a little uh, matte lipstick transformer. Like we put it on top of a mint color. You could put it on top of a blue color. Oh, it'd be so gorgeous with like a baby blue and just like pop that right here in this area. Slay. Okay, so condition. And it's a very, it's a very icy type. I mean, look at how blinding that is. It's a very icy green. So it's not like, you know, grass, grasshopper type of green. It's just a really icy, subtle type green. So I think it's very doable. If you have the balls to do it, go for it. I'm going to, and I might even share the look with you guys. Just let me know down below if you want me to do like a full green face look. I think that would be lots of fun. All right. And the last skin frost is upside down. It's ice cold. And this one's supposed to be for pale girls like me. And that's what it looks like in the pan. On first glance, it looks kind of like um, Nars's albatross. At first glance, I'm going to have to do a side-by-side -side comparison with that and check it out. Bam! Girl! 
Girl. Girl. I mean, I thought the Becca highlighters were it. Or, you know, the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters. These. These are going to be my new favorite highlighters. And there's 15 grams of product to go through. How, how are you even going to put a dent in that? Or bathe in it. Just bathe in it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bathe in it. That's, that's how it's going to work. All right, so I'm going to wipe all these off with a makeup wipey. And let's get started with the beauty killer swatches. Ooh, excuse me. Now, just a little comment on the formula of these. These are very finely milled. Um, they're very silky, very buttery. They're not hard pan. They're not dry or, or powdery or anything like that. But I do think if you use a hard brush, if you don't use soft bristles, I think you might kick up a little bit of product. That's what I kind of see here with how finely milled and how, how soft these are. They're not squishy soft like ColourPop, but they're, they're soft to the touch. All right, so the Beauty Killer palette came in this box. And on the back it says, 10 jaw-dropping shades, vegan, cruelty-free, long-lasting, buttery and delicious. Experience the formula. So gorgeous. Oh, and on the back of the Skin Frost box it says, vegan, cruelty-free, you better glow, bitch. Long-lasting extreme beauty, the definition of highlight on fleek, and that is not a lie, honey. He, you know, this was well worth the wait. Like he was not fucking around when he said it took me a while to formulate these and get them perfect because they are perfect. I absolutely love these. I cannot wait to just whoosh, highlighter all over my face. It's gonna be. Okay, so it does come with a mirror. I don't want to blind anyone. This is what the palette looks like. It's showing up right here. It's showing up fairly true to color on the screen there. So let's get into the swatches. Clean hands, well, relatively, after swatching these once already and washing my hands and then swatching that. All right, so I'm gonna go this way. Let's start with Star Power. There she is, and it's just a matte, fluorescent, hot, hot, hot pink. It kind of reminds me of the pink that's in the um, in the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I'm gonna have to do a comparison and see. And if anyone's interested in, um, you know, possible dupes for these, because I got the gears turning in my head, and I'm, I'm thinking of things I haven't, even though I have nothing like this in my collection, um, I'm thinking there might be some shades that could be dupable for um, anyone who missed out or couldn't afford it or want to shop their stash instead and, you know, achieve a similar look as what you could achieve with this. So just let me know in the comment sections below. All right, shut up and go with this. Okay, next one is Princess, which is like a satin lilac type of shade. And there she is. Very pretty, gonna be a very pretty um, inner corner highlight. It could be an all over lid color. You could do anything, with this palette, what's so interesting about this is you could do, you could do, um, high fashion, avant-garde type looks, but you could also pull out like an office ready, you know, professional type look with this palette as well, without being too garish, you know, for us professionals. Okay, now the next one is Violets. And I'm just gonna scoop. Now, the interesting thing about that I noticed about violence is, if you can see, it looks very similar to the pan, but it's come off less purple. It's coming off more like a, a cranberry um, Bordeaux wine type of color, which is, it's still absolutely gorgeous. 
And it does have like a satin finish and the satin, the shimmery part of the satin has like a lilac type of color to it. So I believe this will look different in the daylight, in fluorescent light and in indoor lighting. Um, so I think um, this one will be quite versatile. Now this one, when I first washed it, when I first got home today, oh my God, ladies. Oh my God, guys, guys, guys. Look, just, okay, can we appreciate, can we have a moment of silence for Rich Bitch? Because although gold eyeshadows are a plenty on the cosmetics market, not one like this. This one is absolutely different. It's extremely metallic. There's no like background type color and then there's gold throughout. It, this is like straight metallic gold, boom, in your face. I think with, um, you know, I think you could do this with a mixing medium as well and get an extremely foiled type look. It'd be so freaking gorgeous. I need to try that. And I think this would also um, make a great um, eyeliner if you want to use a mixing medium and do that as well. Uh, I need to try that. If you guys want me to do a look along those lines, let me know in the comments section below. I'm open to suggestions and, and I answer all of my comments because I don't get that many, so it's not overwhelming or anything. Um, next one is Courtney, which is going to be everybody's transition shade. This could also be a nice um, highlight shade or brow bone shade for um, ladies with deeper complexions. Um, it's kind of like a peachy, it's like a peachy beige type color. Which I think would be very gorgeous on olive tone skins and caramel tone skins. Um, there's her, it's completely matte, super silky, um, but not crumbly, it's not dusty, it's not chalky, it's not hard panty at all. These mattes are absolutely fabulous, and they're not like any formulas of any eyeshadow I've seen on the market yet. And I have a horde of eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes. And if anyone's interested in seeing my collection, let me know in the comments section below. I'd be happy to do it. Um, it'll probably take a while because I have quite the um, modest, massive eyeshadow collection. <laughs> okay, shut up and swatch. Sorry, I'm getting a little chatty here. All right, I'm gonna swatch on the other arm. Just kidding. I'm gonna keep going on this arm because I think I can finish it up on this arm. All right, so next we're gonna go, we're gonna do expensive, which is like a peacock. It's like a peacock satin with Sorry, with like baby blue and aqua teal type micro shimmers. Yeah, it's like a peacock teal. It's got a little bit of a gray undertone to it. It looks like it's very, very unique. That would be very hard to do, guys. But I can try for you all if you want me to. Just let me know. Um, <clears throat> let's go now with Confession. which is like a bronze burgundy, very unique color again. Um, it's kind of, I want my eyebrows to be this color. Yes, I wish my eyebrows were that color. Um, it's a shimmer. Yeah, it's like a cross between a shimmer and a satin because it could probably pass for a satin on the lid, but we'll see when I try it out and I can update you all on that. So I'm gonna swatch Vanity. Sorry, I cannot stand it when people swatch down here and then show, like, what are you, what are you doing down there? What, what are you doing? Swatch it up here, what are you doing? Okay, so here's Vanity, which is like a um, true matte, burnt plum. Look at that pigmentation. It just keeps on going and going and going. 
and it's got like a chocolate brown type shade to it. It's very interesting. Yeah, it's like a chocolate brown with blackened plum, like on top of it. It's very, very interesting. I'm sure I don't have anything like this, but I'm gonna try and see if I do. Um, next is China White, which is like, it's like a bone white. It's not quite, you know, sheet of paper white, like um, Taco by Sugar Pill. It's a little bit more of a bone white, which is a very difficult color to translate in swatches or on the lid. Um, but look at this. Look at it. Bam. Really? How did he do that? How did they do that? I, I haven't seen, I've yet to see a company be able to do this. So I'm very impressed. He, Jeffrey Star is someone who demands quality and I really respect him for that and I will buy his shit because of that. <laughs> because it's great prices for what you're getting. I, what you're getting is an amazing product. This is a very unique formula. Shut up and get to the last swatch, Linda. Okay, here's Black Rainbow, which in the pan looks like, you know, Urban Decay's Oil Slick or there's another one. I think it might be a Kat Von D shade and I can't think of the name on the top of my head. Someone let me know down below or I'll just go dig through my crap and look for it. All right, so Black Rainbow. And are you ready for this one? You sure you're ready for this one? Because I don't, I don't know if you're ready for this one. Guys, guys, blackest black, carbon matte black with, it looks like silver and some iridescent, like rainbowy um, micro glitters. Guys, and, and this, is a, this is an indie company. Are you serious? I cannot wait to use this. Look at the pigmentation on that stuff. Like, okay, just to recap. Like, Star Power and Courtney would make great transition shades or uh, crease shades. If you're going for like a nude type professional look, it might be a nice all over the lid shade as well. I can see Princess and China White being great. Um, Highlight colors, or if you want a matte in your corner highlight, you could definitely use China White for that. Um, adding dimension, deepening shades. I see Violence, Vanity, Black Rainbow, and to a lesser, a lesser extent, Confession being like that. Um, you could do an absolutely fabulous smoky look with those. Um, fabulous lid colors would be like Expensive, Princess again, Rich Bitch, oh my god, Rich Bitch is so versatile. Um, any of these colors would make great accent colors, um, turning them into like eyeliners or just a pop of color on the lower lid. Expensive, Star Power, Violence would be great for that. Rich Bitch would be excellent for that. Like, there's so many looks you could do with this. You could do professional looks, you could do avant garde looks. You could just do everyday type looks with like a pop of something. You know, this is this is for everybody. I would recommend this to anybody. Don't let these colors intimidate you. I know the pigmentation is difficult for some people to work with, but girl, girl, just start slow, build up the color, use a light hand, and go from there. And uh, this is my recommendation. Um, a plus, A plus, 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 plus for these. I think Jeffrey outdid himself. All of this was worth, well worth the wait. And I'm super excited for the next launch because I'm gonna get all of that too. Um, and I also have an Anastasia Beverly Hills order coming. It's the, I believe it's called the Modern Renaissance Eye Palette and the new glow kit, which is like the bronze glow or something like that, which I'm really excited for. 
Um, so be looking out for that. Um, I'm open to any kind of suggestions or requests. Um, just let me know. Um, I'd be happy to do it for anyone. If you want to message me or comment on any of my videos, um, I'd be happy to do anything for you or answer any questions you might have. Um, you know, I'm totally new to this and I'm totally winging it and I would really appreciate everyone's help um, and suggestions or constructive criticism even. I'm totally open to everything. I'm an open book. So um, thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you'd like and have a great, have a great evening. <laughs> thank you. Bye.